Hello everyone, this is Game Galaxy Zone. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the previous episode, we uh, managed to fight a certain character without knowing who exactly that was, who looked like us. Though we can't guess his name, we also got a new character, Vivian. So, I know this is, isn't exactly where we left off. I figured you guys wouldn't want to watch me go through the cutting of running through the forest, so I already just started here. Um, so anyway, in a while ago we jumped down this well and there was a bunch of enemies down here. Hopefully we don't get hit by them. And yes, we were at this door and before we couldn't get through this door, because if we push it all the way up here, can't do that. But with Vivian's power we can just magically teleport under doors. That actually took me a very long time to figure out when I was younger, surprisingly. Mostly because I think I just forgot about it. So... Okay, that was weird. Anyway, we drop down into this room up here, and... I think, yeah, we're going to have to roll up into a ball again. And we couldn't get into that door earlier because it was locked from this side, as you can see there. There's also a parrot and two other boxes in here. Now, what's interesting is that this room looks like it would be used more so for uh, that mouse character that we see a lot. But um, surprisingly, she doesn't appear throughout the rest of the game. Just interesting. But, what of? So literally, this is the only reason why you have to come down here. The letter P. The letter needed to get Mario's name and body back. It's really stupid that they had to do this. And this is the only dumb part of the game that I really think is weird. That you physically need to go get the letter in order to, you know, do this. Also, this is the reason why I stopped playing this game when I was younger. Because I could never figure out how to get that name because the only place that it is is right here and I didn't know how to get here and or that you were supposed to do this really want a cracker. Dupless. You're a big meanie. So yep, there it is. The only reason why we needed that was to get the letter P for P in Dupless. So now that we know it, we can jump out of here. And then it stops more or less saying anything. So yes, I could never figure that out when I was younger. It is kind of in a really awkward place. So, yeah. Alright, so let's get out of here. And... Go talk to Dupless, now that we have the ability... To... I don't know how he steals a letter out of a lettering board or whatever. Is that even possible? Just, like... Spell my name, but I'm gonna take the letter away from you. It's like... I can still spell your name. Anyway, we, uh... We'll cut back over to... The Dupless fight, because it's gonna take a while. Okay, so here we are. Wait up, Slick. Been waiting for you. Constantly. Time to cancel this. Go ahead, hit me one more time with that beautiful name of yours. Okay, let's do it. D O O P L I S S. <laughs> that face, though. I said your name. 
Why, 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 why? How, 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 how? Question mark spinning, fainting, dizziness, running away, and mugged. So, yep. We went to the forest to get there in the first place, had to come back. Then we had to go back there to do that, and then come back. And now we have to go back there again. Thanks, game. Meet you there. Alright, here we are back at the wonderful creepy steeple again. For the third time. God. Bits. Um, I don't think this moved. It might have, because I might have reset the game. Yeah, it had to. Also, there's nothing in that middle door. It just faces the wall, if you were wondering. Actually, no, it might face a door that just pops you back out again. But, I mean, it's quite obvious that there's two stairways, so... Oh yeah, there is a door there. It just pops you back out in the middle of that again. So, so many bows. Also, I should mention that uh, Vivian's tail is like infinite. It always has to touch the ground, which is quite interesting. So, if you like jump over a gap, her like. I don't know if it's a tail or if it's just a shadow part of her legs or something. I don't know what to call it. But it will always touch the ground. Like that. It's really weird. Oh no, all of our friends. And I call you guys my friends to get tricked. Question mark, exclamation point, question mark. That means you're Mario? Can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. Congratulations. What did that for? Your friend is you because you don't have... Charisma? Charisma. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce that. Of me, Super Mario. But I'm playing Paper Mario. Can't believe this fight. So, at the said moment in time, um, Vivian's not going to help us with this fight. Also, what's interesting is that I, if Goombella was on our team, we could tattle all of our characters, which would kind of be pretty funny. So, we never actually have to attack our partners. They will faint if we do attack them as their normal HP. But, it's better not to. Especially if you upgraded them at the moment, they will do the same amount of damage as if you actually had them upgraded. So, that's why I usually don't upgrade too much, but I did for this purpose of the game anyway. Fighting by our side. Cool. So yeah, she kind of was like, I think I'll just do it anyway. Also, I'm sucking a lot at dodging this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, which... Oh, okay, yeah, that actually worked. Um, that'll make it a bit easier to do things. So this is the first time we're going to see Vivian in battle here. And I cannot dodge to save my life, jeez. Oh my god. Yeah, that's evil. Um, so I'm already going to need to super mushroom. Because I'm sucking at this fight. And we are going to take... A chance to evade some attacks here, so we don't get hit. Now, I might just play out this for the rest of the game. Ah, crap. Okay. 
Damn it, I was hoping that would last at least one more turn. Guess not. Aw, oh, I missed the final attack. That makes me shy out. Um, let's see here. I could always... I do have that ability. I forgot. I'm thinking this is the... Well, this is the fourth star, but I already have... Like, a enough attack things. I'm thinking ahead of the game. Let's see here. So we have power lift and everything. That's what I was trying to say. I wanted to use that, but I thought it was this star that gave it to you, but it's not. The star gives you a completely different ability. Ah, man. Okay. We should be able to end this fight here. This could have been a better Dubless fight. I kind of sucked against it. Also, I went out and bought items for this fight, but I didn't feel like really using them. So... And there we go. If you would have beaten Goombella, uh, Koops would have come out next, and if you would have beat Koops, it would have been Flurry and Yoshi and all that stuff. So it would have been very, very, very annoying to fight all of them, but if you just defeat Mario, it just finishes, so... Alright, so I need to look at where I'm at right now. I've been leveling up badge point. I think I'm just gonna do... I'm just gonna do HP for now, because I don't know what exactly I want. <laughs> huh? And we're back to life from the shadows again. Well, this is awkward. Suicide! Shell winked. Because you guys abandoned me, that's why. Sheesh. For a minute I thought this said no sweet, right? And I'm like, wait, what? It makes no sense. Vivian has really joined your party now. And not trickery this time. And we learned the special move Art Attack, which is actually pretty good if you can do it right. It works better on smaller enemies compared to bigger enemies. It basically uh, lets you draw a line or a circle around an enemy, and every time you do that it does like, I think 4 or 5 damage, depending on defense buffs. So quite interesting. Anyway, now Mario's four crystal stars, that leaves a mere three more to find, and that means his quest to collect all the crystal stars is more than half over. Now Mario heads off towards his next adventure with his new friend Vivian. But, what about Beldum and Merleon? And what became of the <laughs> Dupelanger Dupless? Probably pronounced that all wrong, but whatever. I'm a try in here. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably really loud, but <laughs> I forgot that actually happened. That's quite funny. Anyway, back in Unknown Territory 1. Poured over the research of the Thousand Year Door, and it appears the sealing power has definitely been weakened. The ancient power of darkness. 
I like it. Wow, you don't have to be so mean to us. I'll throw the world into the depths of terror, huh? No one can stop me. We'll build a new world, huh? <laughs> About me and for me. This episode is probably really long. Probably should have realized that. Although there's some cutting to it, so... Conflicted. Carrying out an order or protecting a critical person. Mm. Let's have a quiz. You're, you're concerned about your felt self-feelings towards two people, but yet you're just like, ah, the hell with it. Quiz time. So these questions that Tech is about to give you are pretty interesting. Literally, what will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Okay? Your wish is granted. A thousand year door opens. A thousand coins appear. Well, I mean, that one's kind of obvious. What is the goal of Gordas, leader of the X-Nauts? So, in order to know this question, you would have to read the dialogue of the game. So, when I was younger, I skipped a lot of the dialogue. I read most of it, but I skipped most of it as well. Because it was just really long. This game has a ton of dialogue. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand-year door? Exactly. Oh man, I clicked the wrong thing. That's what I don't like about this. Oh wow, it resets. Okay, interesting. Okay. So, a, a, hundred thou, a hundred million coins, an extremely rare badge, which would be cool, a 1,000 year old demon's soul. Hmm. Money badges or Dark Souls? Let's go with Dark Souls. So yeah, the only way to get that right would be just clicking on it. I mean, it makes sense. But... And cherish it always. Bring the demon back to life. Hang on. Hang out with it. Okay. A legendary sword. Magical spell. Crystal stars. So to open the door to a demon, you need the crystal stars to seal it. Defeat. It makes no sense. But anyway... Those questions are really quite important, because that's the first bit of information you learn about the door. Uh, which is quite interesting, and very weird that they would put those questions here, that you have to answer them. I feel like you would actually have to learn more about those questions, instead of actually, like, you know, answering them. Like, I feel like Sir Gordits would tell you that, or you would learn it somewhere eventually. I just feel like it wouldn't give it to you, but at the same time, it's quite interesting because then you get to answer those. So. Bowser, my man. Goatsville, huh? 
We'll just use the cheap blimp to get there. <laughs> one great and evil king, one sweet young thing. <laughs> A deluded old mag. <laughs> oh man. I've never actually read through all the dialogue of this game, plus it's been years since I played this, so it's quite hilarious. Wait, what? Where'd Bowser go? Bowser's like, the hell with the blimp. Just get there on my own. You must have like infinite, like, uh, brooms, my bad, jeez. Flying around at the speed of sound, going super fast. Oh. No. Yep, fire types are weak against water, right? We'll never see Bowser again. Wait, what? Because this makes sense. Even more sense. Oh my god. Thought there was a floor there. This episode is going to be extremely long, and I hate myself for that, because it takes a while to upload episodes. Damn. Alright, let's not die this time, shall we? Wait a second, what? Can I not go on in the next screen? Oh. Oh, son of a bitch. Ah! Okay. That was terrible. Will you does somebody help and okay, run away without actually moving your legs. Oh now you're moving your legs. And you apparently just have a bunch of balloons and a random thing or another. Your slogginess. Clitzville was fantastic. The fights were so cool. Oh wow, even at my age, I'm shaking. Then the hot dogs, they were gracious and yummy. To hell with you. Going without me. <laughs> I swallowed a dang bloomer. I wanted to have fun. <laughs> oh. Yep. I can't believe it was fake Mario all this time that we were fooled. Nah, not really. Let's get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come to visit us anytime, okay? So, thank you all for watching today's episode. This episode has been very long, so I want to end it, like, now. So, thank you all for watching, and in the next episode, we'll figure out some new stuff to do, I guess. Something. You'll find out.